In today's lesson, we'll take a look at how to create a vector object from a bitmap object. Within this lesson, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import a bitmap logo, and I'm going to vector this logo so that it goes from a dot format, which is what a raster is, to a vector line format, which is what we need to run our rotary engraving machines. Our rotary engraving machines are not like lasers or laser printers where they can function on dots they need to function on lines. So when we get an imported logo from a customer, which a lot of times is in a raster format or a bitmap format or a dot format, we need to be able to vector that logo. We can do this directly from Vision Pro. First of all, let's go File and let's Import. And we've got a logo saved. documents, my pictures, and we're looking for a TIFF file. So there's a .tif file. So here's our logo right here. So let's just double click on that logo. And I'm just going to click on the desktop. And there's my logo right there. And you notice up here in the status bar that this is a bitmap. So if I was to send this to the rotary engraving machine, it will not engrave. So all I need to do now is select the scan tool and select the flyout icon of the prism. Now notice that my property bar is actually changed up here and now what I've got is a number of functions for the vectoring command in Vision Pro. For the most part, all I really need to do is keep, I really don't have to, to use any of these commands here. Some of these are for cropping and cutting and, and that. Again, you've got some presets here depending on what type of logo you've got. But we'll just, cons we'll just consider this to be long lines and curves. Now all I really need to do is just to select this icon right here. And you notice here the, the flyout tip is vectorization. Click on that and the logo vectorized. That was pretty quick. When you're done, just select close. Now I can drag the logo over and that's the bitmap. That's the vector. So I can delete the bitmap now and if I select the vectored part of the logo, I can now come in here and I can turn show fill off and now you can see that I've got a vector rendition of my logo. So now all I need to do is send that to the engraving machine and off I go.